All right, listen, I know I'm super late to this, but I feel like this guy needs to be talked about. Just wow. I've seen a couple of clips of this guy, and wow. So you guys probably remember Cuties, you know, the, the film that blatantly panders to peepees. You know, the film that treats 11-year-olds like they're fully grown women and, you know, has them twerk on set. Some of the scenes that are going viral right now are legitimately insane, just absolutely disgusting. And Netflix, you know, they, they love to promote this they lost nine billion dollars and still stuck by the film somehow i don't know what kind of creeps are uh, over there or like the people who made the movie the people at netflix like dude i don't know i think to any sane person the fact that thousands of people have approved the film and just let it slide is something to worry about for sure that this film like won an award in france was it like dude all these people need to be in jail it's ridiculous but yeah don't worry about that there was one man, one brave man who went against the masses. You know, we're all sheep. All of us who don't like cuties like our last video, you know, we're all sheep. And, and I call this man brave because, uh, like, you have to be brave to put out such an absurd opinion on the internet. Like, I, I actually mean, this guy's a literal pee-pee. You know how YouTubers just throw out that word, but this guy legitimately admits to getting a boner to 11-year-old girls dancing. This guy made a video, um, a 24-minute long video called Cuties, an uncomfortably honest review. <laughs> and, it, and just looking at the like ratio, like, dang, dude, you got destroyed. But it kind of disappoints me that, that we've actually confirmed that a thousand people that have watched this are legitimate p files. Like, my god, that population is growing. And I understand why now, because this stuff is being shoved into mainstream streaming platforms. And, dude, I don't even know what to say. Hi, cuties. No, 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 no. Video's over. I, <laughs> no. Oh, that was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Don't do that ever again. Goddamn. So, if you're not familiar, Cuties is a film that Netflix just bought from director Maimouna Ducourou. She's a French woman and she made this film that has uh, sparked some controversy uh, Maybe not so much the film itself but a poster that Netflix made to promote it. Oh yeah, dude, I remember this argument, like, the last time um, I made my cuties video, everybody, not everybody, okay, a bunch of people were like, oh, oh, you, di you didn't do enough research, it was only the poster that was bad, the movie was good. Excuse me, have you seen some of those clips? Like, just looking at the trailer, I could tell, but if, if this go on, to, actually, don't, 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 don't look at any of the clips, but, like, if, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It's the movie that's the problem. The, the poster was, like, underselling it, dude. Now, it's a solid film. It's a good movie. Oh, of course, of course it is, my guy. Definitely better than most movies. Okay, dude, you need... <laughs> You need to stop, man. This film does try to make you sexually aroused by 11-year-olds. And uh, I'll, I'll say it's not bad at it. Okay, all right, all right. I, do, we, do we even need to hear any more? This guy's confirmed, right? Like, can I, you know, put the PP stamp? Like, FBI, where are you at? Oh, they're actually there. <laughs> There are probably thousands of people masturbating to this film. You look like you just got done doing it, dude. Based on what you just said, I can't... Oh my god. YouTube, man, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything, but dude, like, come on. He's admitted it. He's, like, dude, come on. But, uh, yeah, as far as, like, sexy music videos go, um... It's not bad. Listen, this guy clearly has a screw loose somewhere because there is no sane person that can find any legitimate argument for this film at all. It is blatantly unacceptable. I, I don't see how forcing people to watch, in his words, the civilization of kids stops it in any way. In fact, it encourages it and it forces you on it by the definition of the word force. So let's put the morality of that aside and just... What? No, no, what? what? Put the morality of that aside. What? How, how do we... Children are horny. 
Little girls are horny and they want to express that. How did this man spend 24 minutes recording this video and after record edit it and post it on YouTube and think he was in the right? They're pretty hot. And you know, you can say whatever you want about me. It's not my fault. I didn't make him do that. They did that. I did not zoom in there. He did that himself and that was not edited in any way. He literally just said that. Dude, I thought this was all a joke. I thought everybody was insane when they said that one day people will try to normalize PP behavior, you know? But we can see it right in front of our eyes. Like legit, this world is being ran by psychos. I, I don't want to be that guy, but I, I don't know how many sane people are left. You're supposed to be sitting there holding these two thoughts in your head and one that these are kids and the other that they're hot. Dude, legitimately, go get yourself checked. This is not normal. I feel like the reason he's so calm about this is because in his mind, this is like completely normal. He's like, oh, I feel what I feel. But dude, this guy is an open pee, pee dude. He's literally just out here telling us what he is. Usually these people are hiding in the shadows, but this guy is just, you know, putting it out on a platform by himself. He's telling us what he's thinking and the fact that kids arouse him. And there's nothing being done. This wasn't satire. He keeps uh, doubling down on this. There's like no therapy, nothing. But, but somebody calls out someone for doing something wrong, you know, legitimately wrong. Banned by YouTube, you know? I kept thinking about if I had a daughter, whether I would let her be in this movie. No, the answer is no, but but go ahead, my guy. Let's see what you say. And um, either way, your daughter's going to hate you, right? She, uh, later, she's going to hate you. So she'll hate you for squandering her career by not letting her be in this really good movie. It's, it's well written. Dude, I'm pretty sure when your daughter grows up, and she realizes that you protected her from an exploitative industry and literally being showcased to the to the files of the world, I think she'll be grateful. Well-meaning and I assume not creepy filmmaker comes along and they're like, I'd like to pay your daughter to shake her ass. <laughs> uh, I guess I would say yes. Why am I not surprised? Like, I, I could have predicted that from a mile, dude. You've, like, I I'm, I'm constantly trying to find things in this video that, you know, that, that exonerate you, you know, that you're not a, uh, a PP and stuff, but like, dude, it just keeps piling up for 24 minutes. And if I pull up that stream, dude, you're like, please never have a daughter. The movie, I think, has a pretty positive message. Dude, I, I never get this argument. Like, dude, sure, your, your message can be positive and like, what you wanted to do, your intentions can be great. But if your execution is... Uh, like the the epitome of dog sh then wh wh what do I have to what do I have to watch here? Because we do we already sexualize children when we tell a child that they're cute We are telling them that they're attractive. No, 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 dude Dude, there, there's there's two definitions of cute. There's the there's the girlfriend boyfriend cute You know, there's the Harry Styles is cute and then there's a baby, you know, a newborn baby that which is also cute There are dogs that are cute. Are you into that? I don't know man Cute does not mean you're sexualizing something. Get get yourself checked, dude. I, huh. And uh, I'm excited to see uh, what she comes up with next. Of course you are, dude. All right, fellas. I, I knew that these people existed, but they were so few and so far away in my mind that I completely forgot about them. But my god, watching this man was was an experience. Like, this man is probably the torchbearer for the map community. They probably pray to this man on a daily basis. Bye bye